In today's video, I'm doing another dip technique. I really enjoy doing these and I have some ideas to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, in this one, I just painted my background white and turquoise and as you can see, I just split the background and then I'm going to do my dips down the middle line. I decided to try it out this time. I'm not going to add a base coat of paint. I just want to see if it will work similarly uh, just so that I could do something different if it does. For my colors, I have a really light blue, a really dark blue, and then a yellow and an orange. I wanted to go ahead and use some different colors and the blues and the yellow and orange are a color palette that I've really never done before. I've seen some other people on Instagram and YouTube that have used color palettes like this and it seems to turn out really nicely. So I just wanted to give it a try for something a little bit different. My other colors that I'm using to dip are all mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water. I'm not using any Floetrol um, because I'm not really looking for any cells in this. So when I used my glove for this, um, I didn't really get that nice flower pattern that I normally get, and I definitely think that's because I didn't really use uh, a base coat of paint. So next time I think if I do a split color like this, which I really like the idea of, I'll use white and another color, um, but I'll actually use them as a layer of fluid base paint instead of just painting it on and letting it dry. I think to get the um, style and design that I really like, I do need that base coat. And after I did my canvas, I did a set of coasters and they turned out exactly the way that I like. So as an experiment, I tried this without a base coat and it obviously didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but testing out these colors, I really liked the way that these colors looked and I think I'm going to try them in a Dutch pour also. I think they'll blend nicely, especially if I keep them a little bit thicker, they won't get too muddy. So with the gloves that I'm using, uh, I am just wiping the paint off and then reusing the same glove to dip. And you can definitely just rinse these off when you're all done and remove the paint so that the gloves are reusable either as a dipping tool or if you need to actually use them as gloves. But while the paint is still wet, it's really easy just to rinse that paint right off. Once I was done with the canvas, I just grabbed a set of coasters. I used some white for my base paint, again, just mixed with the Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water, and just smoothed that out a little bit before adding my puddles of color to dip. When I used that base coat of white and then dipped with my uh, glove, I got the exact design that I was hoping for. Um, that base coat does really make a difference. 
So like I said, next time I do a dip, if I do a split color, I'll actually have a base coat of paint um, and then see how that turns out. But I think that split color on the canvas was a really fun idea for something different. So if you have an idea of colors that you wanna see, especially if I do some split canvas designs, let me know. Um, these I think turned out really well. I do really like these colors. So I'm up for any suggestions that you guys have. And I just wanted to say thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this dip video. If you do, let me know in the comments what you like about it, what you didn't like about it, what you wanna see me do differently in the future or what colors you wanna see. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do put out three videos a week and I will see you in the next one.